four 0 win through to the last thirty through the Vars. How pleased are you with how it's gone today? Uh, very. Uh, you know, the objective is to be in the hat next round. We've done that. I thought our football first half at time was sublime. Best we've played this season. Um, some of the passing movement, they couldn't live with us, to be fair. Um, so as far as we were concerned, the game was dead and buried at half-time, at 3-0. Um, we did have a little bit of a moan because the last couple of minutes they had a couple of corners, um, which, you know, if they nick one, that, that changes the dynamics of the um, half-time talk. But last 32, that's all that matters. Absolutely, and the damage, as you say, was, was done in the first half with those three goals. Second half was probably a little bit of a more flatter affair, but got that... Uh, late goal right at the end. How do you look back on the whole 90 minutes? So you a little bit disappointed with the second half or overall pleased really? Yeah, I, it's, you look at it two ways, you know. Without doubt, we thought we became sloppy. We we, we addressed it at half-time, so look, we, we, I wasn't here last week, as you know, but they felt they started sloppy against Newmarket, and, uh, Mildenhall, sorry, and um, we didn't want a repeat of that, but we thought we did. But I, I think the game was so one-sided first half, it's hard from player mentality-wise to to um, keep that up, but it's something we've got to learn, especially later on. But I'd like to think if we were in a more competitive game, then um, we would we would step up accordingly. You know, I mean, we still had, I mean, Brad has had one shot to save, and, and and that came off Ainsley's head. So we defended well. Just thought we gave the ball away in possession a few times too much. Um, but if you if you want me to package the whole 90 it's a 7 out of 10 if you want me to package the first half I'd say 9 out of 10 so um, as I said we were talking on sidelines and just said there's not many games that you're going to get in a season where you can play keep ball and, and cruise through but it's our nature that we want to go on and score more goals and we could have kept the ball at the back because they weren't pressing us you know they I think they were a more of a damage limitation exercise if I'm honest I think they thought we well, don't want to get spanked and fair play to them they got more of the ball moved it well but overall we were too strong for them One player who I want to pick out he didn't get the man of the match from our sponsors today but Luke Reed. I thought he played exceptional today first half it looked like a lot of the play was going through him Yeah. How, what did you make of his performance? Man of the match Yeah. simple told him as soon as he came off the pitch who, who won man of the match? Uh, Seb Dunbar ok interesting but all about opinions, as we know, yeah. you know. Um, so, but I thought Luke was outstanding. It's probably his best game for the club this season. Yeah. And fittingly, he got the fourth. Um, I think it, that was fully deserved. Um, so, yeah, you know, it is what it is. But I, he, he knows what we think as a management team. So, good. So, into the hat for Monday's draw. I'm assuming you'll probably want a home draw again. But we've got to have a talk about the crowd today. 429 the biggest competitive crowd uh, game here in Greaves Meadow that must fill you with a lot of Is that ever? yeah really yeah wow blown away by that um, yeah you know it's well documented how far we've come so to, to get that and to be manager at the time of doing that is is I, w- I wouldn't have believed you as I said six years ago but there's lots of people involved and as I said before, the players have played their part. You know, every year we've grown gradually, 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 um, and it's nice to see. And uh, but yeah, going back, you always want a home draw. I think sports want a away draw because they want a day out, yeah. um, which I understand. But I think from our perspective, a home draw. Um, I don't know if it now goes north-south divide, so I don't know what happens there. But we're we're in the hat. That's all we can ask for. You know, we said to the boys, the objective today is in the hat, no bookings, no injuries. And that's what we've done. So it's been a perfect, perfect result for us. And I'm sure the next target for you will be to get 500 down here for a game. But we're back on the road next week. Stanway gave us a, a really tough game here a couple of months ago. A few ex-boys that you've yep. known very well from your time at the club. A tough game, a, a tough uh, test for us to keep that unbeaten record going. Game 19. That's the way I see it. You know, if we win the game, it's three points. It's not six, not nine. If we lose the game, it is what it is. But um, we'll be up for that no doubt um, they need to win that in my opinion um, but I still back my boys throughout the rest of the season I think they've been phenomenal I think they've done the town proud and um, I've got nothing but good things to say about them as a group on and off the pitch they've been a pleasure to manage so well, well done today thank you very much look forward to the draw on Monday and thank me. you Cheers. right thanks again so Stowe walk out in the end 4-0 
victors through to the next round of the VARs. Um, Alex, what do you think? Yeah, it was a, a pretty comfortable afternoon, I thought. Um, getting the three goals first half, put the game to bed. Second half was not that very exciting, but we got a, a goal right on the final whistle, 4-0. I think, on reflection, probably a fair result. I thought we were dominant today. Yeah, I think, you know, me and you said a few minutes ago, damage was done probably at half-time. Um, three good goals. Didn't really look in too much danger, but, you know, I give Stansted their due. They... They were tough in the second half. They they were fighting, but again, you know, very little in that final third to really I suppose, cause a danger. To be honest, um, still confident of this unwinning, un, unbeaten streak carrying on. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, we're through to the last 32 now. Only the third time that the club's been at this stage, and they've done it back to back seasons now. So, starting to to enjoy these fast runs now, which is nice. But we'll have the the draw on Monday afternoon to see who we get next round. I know a lot of people want us to be at home again so we can get another big crowd. Got to say, 429 here today, the, the biggest crowd that we've had for a competitive game at this ground, which is really nice to see. A lot of people would want it to be away so we can go somewhere else and have a nice away day. But um, I think just happy to be through, aren't we? Yeah, exactly. And absolutely fantastic support today. Um, out in their numbers, as it should be. Um, Talk us through some of your key players. Bodic having his first league starts, grabs a goal on his debut. What did you make of, of some of the players who have maybe got cup experience? Do you think they they sort of stepped up when it needed to be today? Yeah, I felt so. And to be fair, they've they've done it all season, haven't they? You look at the likes of, of uh, Tom Bullard, Joe Jefford, the two centre-halves. Um, then you've got Jack Ainsley playing in front of them. Those three have been key, really. And I know a lot of them haven't got the man of the matches, got the plaudits, but... You take them three out of the team and it, it does make a big difference. They've, they've been solid. I thought Luke Reed had a good game today. He uh, got the goal right at the end. Um, he's been in and out of the team so far this season, but I thought he had a really good game. And a lot of the play in the first half was coming through him. You talk about Dean Bowditch, got that goal, played a part in that third goal. He, he did play his part, but I thought for a lot of that first half, it was it was being played through Luke Reed. No, exactly. I think Luke Reed is easy one of the standout, standout guys in a team that, no, no one really didn't do their... Everyone did their job well, I think is the yeah, best way to put it, yeah. didn't they? It was a solid performance. Everyone just just did the basics, did what they needed to do, was tidy, um, and it sees into the next round. So, tell us about Saturday. Yep, next Saturday, so back to the league, uh, away to Stanway Rovers. Uh, a very tough game. We talked about Mildenhall last week, didn't we? They gave us two really tough games. Yeah. Stanway gave us a hard game here, 2-1 win. Um, and they've got four players that used to play for us. Danny Cunningham, John Carver, a fan's favourite, uh, Jack Baker, Remy Garrett. So four players there that will be keen to, to get that win, not just to, for themselves, because they're one of the title rivals this season, but also to end our unbeaten run, because we're still unbeaten in the league. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And you'll be able to see all of the match highlights from Saturday's game at Stanway next week. Look forward to seeing you soon. Cheers.